Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. If you send a transaction through a MetaMask or any other Web3 wallet and it got stuck, it got reverted and you're confused and you don't know what to do, this is the exact video for you. Today I'm going to explain why it happens sometimes where our transactions get stuck and how you can solve this problem. So without further ado, let's get started. When you use your MetaMask wallet, you're essentially preparing a transaction with all its parameters, including the data, the address you're sending the transaction, and all the gas information that you're willing to pay for this transaction. Then your wallet launches the transaction to the blockchain and then the validators are picking it up and sometimes they are putting it into the next block and sometimes not. Now transactions may fail for few reasons and it when it happens it's very annoying because you're just trying to execute an operation using your MetaMask wallet and you just can't. So let's try to understand what are the reasons and how we can first detect them and then solve the issues. So there are a few common reasons when it comes to failing MetaMask transactions. The first one is that you don't have enough funds in your wallet, which means that you don't have enough of the native coin in your MetaMask wallet. For example, if it's Ethereum network, you don't have enough ETH to pay for gas for transaction fees. The solution for this problem is quite straightforward and obvious. You just need to get more coins to make sure that you have money to pay for gas and transaction fees. So if it's Ethereum, more ETH, if it's Sonic, more S tokens, and so on. Another common reason is that the smart contract that you are interacting with is reverting the transaction. Smart contracts are programs written in Solidity, and in the smart contract, the developers can use the revert or the require statement. Now, when the code reaches this require or revert statements, uh, what happens is that the transaction reverts. You will see an error in your wallet or in the blockchain explorer, and all the operations that you executed will not be accounted and registered in the blockchain. So this is very situation specific and there is no like magic pill that solves all the issues when it comes to the smart contract reverting the transaction. There are multiple reasons why the smart contract might revert the transaction and every case is different. And the last one, which is the most common one that happens to me a lot and probably also happened to you, is that you're running out of gas. What does it mean? So this is what we're trying to solve today and I will show you exactly how to see when it happens and how to fix it. So when your transaction runs out of gas, it means that the limit that you or the wallet, the MetaMask wallet set was too low to complete the execution of the operation of the smart contract. In the last year alone, billions in crypto have been stolen. Imagine logging into your wallet and seeing everything gone, just like that. Stop risking it. A ledger hardware wallet stores your keys offline, safe from hackers and phishing attacks. No constant anxiety, no sleepless nights, wondering if you and your funds are next. Take back control, protect your DeFi and crypto assets before it's too late. Get your ledger today with my special discount link in the description below. First, we need to understand what is gas limit and how it works. So gas limit, essentially, you're telling the validators or the blockchain, whoever is going to run and take your and handle your transaction, how much gas units you are willing to pay for this particular transaction. And the more complex the code is, the more operation are being executed in an Ethereum virtual machine, the more gas units are required. Now, you might say, but wait, I never saw this. I never touched this gas limit parameter. I never was requested to do so. And you're absolutely right, because wallets, what they do today, they're essentially simulating your transaction. Meanwhile, you're seeing it and before you confirm it, they simulate it and they try to assess how many gas units it's going to take in the blockchain and they set the gas limit field automatically transparent, completely transparent to you. You don't need to deal with it. But what happens is that sometimes they do it 
in a faulty way and they don't estimate it properly and they set low amount of gas limit even though there is more gas unit required to finish the operation. In other cases, meanwhile they did a simulation the state of the blockchain was x and then in the time that your transaction reached to the nodes and to the validators the state was changed and now it requires more operations to complete your transaction a very classic example of that is concentrated liquidity and liquidity provisioning so for example when you deposit and stake tokens or provide liquidity in a liquidity protocol the state was changed the price were changed more people added or removed liquidity and now there are more operations that are required to complete your transaction so to summarize, sometimes we have complex transactions that require more gas, sometimes the MetaMask or any other wallet estimation and calculation is not proper and it's not exactly like the amount of gas that it's going to require and the defaults sometimes are too low. So now I'm going to show you a demo of when it happens and how it happens when your transaction gets reverted or stuck because the gas limit is too low. We'll take a look at B5 Finance, which is an awesome yield aggregator. We'll try to stake some tokens, get some yield of stable coins, and then we'll take a look of how transactions are being reverted and how we can fix it. So this is my wallet on Sonic blockchain. This is Sonic Scan. Looks exactly like Base Scan or Ether Scan, just another blockchain. And you can see here the history of the transactions. And you can see that I sent some transactions here to BFI accounts, execute order, execute order, and these transactions were reverted. You see this red exclamation mark and every time it's different reason. Now this specific reason over here, if you hover this exclamation mark, you can see that your transaction ran out of gas or this one is the same, out of gas, not enough gas for re-entries, sentry, whatever, whatsoever, execution reverted. So let's take this one, for instance, out of gas. I'm, I'm going to click here the transaction hash and enter the transaction itself. And here again, you can see in the Blockchain Explorer, it will be the same in any other Blockchain Explorer. It will write here, out of gas. Now, if you click here to show more, this field right here is going to tell you what is the gas limit and the gas usage and we can see here that we stand on 100 percent which essentially means that we set we metamask our wallet set 1.179 million gas units that it allowed a transaction to consume and the transaction consumed all these gas units but it wasn't enough to complete the execution of the smart contract and the operation so in that case i paid all the gas it consumed the gas i lost this 0.03 dollars but the operation wasn't applied to the state of the blockchain or in other words failed. So this is quite painful. I lost three cents here. And once you see something like this, it means that you need to set a higher gas limit. Now let's see how we can do that. All right, so let's see this issue in action and see how we can solve it. So I'm going to stake some stable coins on Sonic. So I'm going to Sonic Network over here, filter to stable coins, and I'm gonna pick some strategy. These ones look nice, 13% APY on stable coins, sounds awesome. I'm gonna click here, build LP, which is gonna forward me to beats.finance. And let's say I want to deposit here $10,000 in to this strategy and it will start by sending transactions to the blockchain. Now, this transaction before, what I just did, I, I did the same experiment and it just failed. Why did it fail? Because it was out of gas. You can see it over here, execution reverted, right? You see, one minute ago, execution reverted. Now I will enter this transaction and I will open here, click show more. And again, I can see that all the gas, 96% was consumed, which means that I need to set a higher gas limit, higher than 1 million. Let's see how we can do that. So I'm going back to uh, providing liquidity, clicking here, add liquidity. It will trigger my MetaMask wallet now here. You don't see anywhere this gas limit option. In order to see it, you need to click these details in network feed, this kind of pencil, blue small pencil over here, and it will open the gas options for you. Now we have to click here, advanced, and if you scroll down a bit, this is the gas price that you are willing to pay per unit of gas. But here on the bottom, look, the UX is so horrible in MetaMask because you need to literally search for that. 
on the bottom here of the gas settings, you have here the gas limit, and you can see that it's set for a number that is slightly smaller than 1 million tokens. So 1 million gas units. So I need to click here, edit, and change it. I'm gonna add here the number three, which essentially gonna set the gas limit to around 4 million gas units. Now, don't be scared to put high gas limit because if the transaction is not going to consume all the gas units, let's say only 2 million units, then you will not be charged for 4 million, but only for the amount of gas units that were used to finish the operation. So I'm going to click here, save, and then launch the transaction. And now let's see if it works. And we can see that transaction succeeded. We can also go to the blockchain explorer here and refresh the page. And now I can see that this add liquidity operation succeeded. I can open a transaction over here, scroll down, click to show more details. And now you can see that I set 4 million gas units, but it consumed only 28.77%, 1.1 million approximately. So it's more than 1 million, but less than 4 million. We didn't get, we didn't get charged for all this amount, but only for this amount. So don't worry about it. Now I can take my liquidity position that I created on Pits, go to BFI and deposit it. Here again, I'm going to increase the gas limit significantly because these operations, they require a lot of uh, computation. So the default gas limit that MetaMask simulated and set for us is 57,000 gas units. I'm just going to add two ones here to make it like 1 million, just in case that it requires more operations to run. It was just the approve. Approvals are usually cheap. Let's now it's a second transaction. I'm going to click here advanced again. And now it sets it to 2 million. Let's increase it to 4 million just in case. And we made it. So many, many times in BFI it failed just because the gas wasn't enough. But now it went through and we can again go to the blockchain explorer, refresh the page, and we can see this deposit deposit all transaction that we just uh, launched. Let's see how much gas it took. Yeah, so it took 2.2 million out of 4.4 million. So sometimes MetaMask does not estimate the required gas uh, efficiently. And then transactions are getting reverted. You are paying the gas for nothing. And it's just frustrating. Now I'm going to stick it here in the vault to enjoy this extra juicy boost from BFI. And you know what? Let's try without modifying the gas limit and see what happens. Well, this time it worked. I didn't modify the gas limit. I set the default one that MetaMask probably simulated and set for me. Uh, but it just happened like 50-50 in my experience in BFI. And I hope that this video will help you understand how it works, why it happens, and how to overcome this issue. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And if this video was useful, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more awesome Web3 and DeFi content. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.